All right, can you take us through that uh, kickoff return? Uh, pretty much, I just want to make sure that I was able to help out the team each and every way when I'm on the field, you know. So I had to give back the play that I gave a touchdown. So I feel like that I do what I got to do is to make sure we get on the board. So each and every time I'm able to touch a rock, I want to make sure that Chip does a call another play. How, how far into it did you realize that it could be a special play? Uh, once I got to the kicker, I know that could be a special play, but I could have been out there, God, you know, he was with me the whole time. Before I got out there, I did my little spiritual thing that I always do, and I just make sure I said my nephew name once I could touch that field because he's the one I'm playing for. Uh, Chip has had had you guys fair catch a lot of kickoffs. I know that one was a little bit backed up. So, uh, what was your feeling when you knew that you were able to actually return it and not have to fair catch them? Let's play ball. <laughs> Josh, it looked like you were going through a lot of pain there in the second half. You went into the injury tent, I think, at one point. Uh, were, was that the, probably the most pain you've had to go through in a game that you didn't have to just sit out because you were ruled out with an injury? Is this the hardest? Um, <clears throat> it, it was tough. You know, we had great defense. It was tough. You know, at this point in the season, everyone's banged up. So, yeah, it, it was tough, but, you know, physically I felt fine. But, uh, yeah, thanks. That Stanford made a concerted effort to stop the run game. How did you kind of counteract that? What did you see from them? What were the challenges? Well, they were great. They're, they have a great D-line. They're tremendous. They're a great tackling team. So, you know, they've always been that way ever since Coach Shaw's been there. They've always been well coached. You know, they're great. You know, we got to give them credit that they're they're consistent for sure. Darnie, so. could you talk a little bit about how big J.J. Arcega Whiteside was? It seems like you know, during the second quarter, Stanford just kept throwing up jump balls to him. He's definitely the best player, you know. Uh, God gave him a lot of time. I wish him the best in the next level. What were you guys feeling when Caleb made that amazing cutback on that 66-yard play? Uh, I felt like you guys had a lot of momentum. What were you kind of thinking and feeling at that at that moment? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, we know how big of a player Caleb Wilson is. He's the best tight end in America, so we, we love him. We have confidence in him. And he makes plays consistently. Whenever we throw him the ball, he makes plays. So he's so big time for our offense. And yeah, for sure, we were excited, definitely. Well, this is for either one of you guys. Uh, we were just talking to Wilden and Theo about how much this team has grown since the start of the year. Um, where are some specific areas that you've seen this team grow, and how much different is this team now compared to first game? Uh, right when Chip walked in, he came in with the uh, stubbornness and growth mindset. You know, there's going to be a lot of ups and downs in life, and definitely on the field. So. As you guys can see, we played our butts off since day one. You know, we came up short so several times, but next year those little setbacks are not going to be setbacks. They're going to be Ws. Yeah, yeah. Building off of that, it was just about teaching us like mental toughness, the growth mindset, about how we can build our skills. He just taught us a lot about discipline, and we we for sure matured. You know, this is one of the first teams I've been a part of where you know we're three. We were at one point like three and eight. And, you know, we're just out there practicing hard. They keep us motivated, and we really embraced it for sure. Obviously, you guys are a young team. What have you learned from the juniors and seniors? Uh, just how to brand and walk about life. Definitely a Darius Pickett. It's definitely one of my role models. Nate Meadows, my role model. Uh, they just showed me how I should walk around in life and just have faith about everything. Cause, you know, they've been through a lot of things in their life, and just to go through it with a smile on your face, just after JK walk in the building with a smile on his face each and every day, it can be after a blowout, he's smiling. I'm like, yeah, I got to change my attitude, you know? So just about being the same person every day. Yeah, uh, <laughs> thank you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's just, you know, I consider, my, I'm not I'm not saying I'm like I'm a senior, but I consider myself part of the older guys. I've only been here for two years, but, you know, when I got here, it was like all those guys who told me, like, you know, just be you, just, just work hard. And that was the, the emphasis I bought, because working hard gets you a lot of places in life. So they really stressed that to each and every one of the young guys here. You know, we've embraced it. We got a young guy right here that's one of the best in the entire country. He's embraced it. So I think it's great that we got guys like this all over the place. After Darius uh, had that interception on Stanford's pr first possession, knowing that, that this is his last game at UCLA, what was just the energy like on the sideline? Uh, he showed on the sideline that his first game at the Roseville, he had an interception. So he exited the building with another interception. So just a, it's just God's doing, you know, you can't plan that out at all, you know. So 
I'm just, he's just a blast, man. I can't wait to see what he does in the All Star game and what he has in store for his family this draft day coming around. Yeah, you know, Pick, he's been great. He's our leader, you know. It's just crazy, like how Darnay mentioned, you know. It's, it feels like sometimes when you're playing, it feels like it's just God's purpose, you know. You just get a pick your first game and you get picked your last game. It feels like that's not a coincidence at all. He's just been great. He's a great tackler. <laughs> I don't have enough good things to say about Pick. You know, he's a great man, too, so he's going to be great at the next level for sure. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.